how to build immediate trust and rapport with anybody. Now, what is the science of trust? The way you know that you can trust another human being is because of two factors. The first factor is you believe you can trust somebody when you feel and know that they have your best interests at heart. That's the first factor. The second factor that you know is when your interests are aligned to theirs. Now when you feel that someone has your best interests at heart and your interests are aligned, that they have the same interests as, as you, then you start to feel like you can trust somebody. It's, and that's very important for a relationship, on a sales call, when you meet someone socially. You have to have people feel and know that. Now, one of the ways that I help to get trust is I ask myself, what do I appreciate about this person? What do I love about this person? What can I respect about this person so that I can really make them feel that connection to me? That's really important because it's so easy to start judging someone and seeing, you know, oh, this is what they're doing, this is what they're not doing, this is how they are. And we generally don't experience the person. We experience our filters of the person. That's what we're experiencing. Now, I like to get trust by people by genuinely caring about people as well. You have to make the person feel like you genuinely care. If they don't feel that from you, then they're going to shut down. You also have to make people feel seen and heard and understood, right? Without your judgments on them and without your distortions of what you think they mean or what they're trying to say. Now, I do it also by this method called matching and mirroring, right? <clears throat> so I like to breathe at the certain rate that you breathe. I like to talk at the same speed. How many of you have been called up by a telemarketer and they spoke to you with a different tonality completely, a completely different speed to you and or a different volume and you're like, shit, I feel so different to this person, there's no way I'm gonna respond to them. So you wanna be able to breathe at the same rate, similar rate, even blinking at the same rate, talk at a similar speed, talk at a similar volume, uh, you know, talk at a similar pitch even within, within range. Uh, I remember when I was starting out, <coughs> trying to do sales calls, I worked for a guy, we were trying to get real estate, aid. we were trying to sell coaching to real estate agents. And I had a lot of energy, I do, right? So I would call people up and I would say, hey, this is Luke, how's it going? Do you want to increase your profitability in your real estate agency? And I would talk a million miles an hour and really fast and they'd be like, dude, calm down, slow it down. And I'd lose it. So I always make sure that I speak at the same speed as people uh, because that's going to help them to open up to me as well. If you want to get uh, find what's important to people, that's very important as well. I like to find out their values. What are they interested in? You know, I'm very good at wanting other people to feel heard before they hear me. Don't expect people to hear you until you make them feel heard. The other important communication technique for this is talk in terms of other people's values. What's important to them? You know, how many of you have started talking to somebody and you've, they've started telling you about all the things that they that they love, that, that they love talking about, and you're like, shit, I don't even like this stuff. I'm not even interested. How is this related to me? So if you don't speak in terms of other people's values, they're just gonna delete it uh, and, and not even pay attention to you. It's always like to relate it to other people as well. Right? And if you notice that the trust is going down, then I also like to tell my story. The top cognitive bias in the brain is the relatability bias. You like to listen to people and open to people who you feel that you have something in common with and you can relate to. There's a great power in sharing your story, things that you've been through, things that you've experienced. And if they've been through similar things, they're gonna be like, oh, this person gets me, this person understands me. They've lived this, so share your story. The, the other top way to get trust by people is by social proof. You know, online you should be sharing a lot of social proof success stories, testimonials, people have done amazing stuff with your product or your service, and talking about other people that have won and succeeded with your product or your service as well. That causes people to listen to you like, holy shit, this person gets results. So the relatability bias, the social proof bias, uh, that really helps 
And you know, that also meets, gives you, boosts the third bias, which is the authority bias. You trust people who you see as an authority. If you believe the news is an authority, or the government, then you're gonna do exactly what they say, no matter what they told you. They told you to jump off a cliff. Some people would do that, because they have so much trust in, you know, in some of these external places. So you've got to understand who is an authority for you, and start to question, you know, you have to accept everything that you hear all the time, and come up with your own mind about things. And, you know, just know that if you're positioned to yourself as an authority, people are gonna to listen to you as well, so you wanna build that up. I hope that's helped you. Click like, click subscribe, leave me a comment. I'd love to interact with you more and let me know what you think in the comments.